G'day guys, it's Jimmy from Grammy Gear, helping you get outdoors easily and ethically. And today I'm really excited about this very special episode. It's special for three reasons. One, it's the very first of our walk-arounds. Uh, so with the walk-around series, it's we're going to be sharing people's camp setups with you and getting into that detail of storage, which we love to help give you some ideas on how to get out there. Uh, number two, we're kicking the first episode off with one of our original customers, Graham. So that's an awesome opportunity. He's been with us a long time and he's just a really cool fellow, which you'll find out. So I'll introduce you to him soon. And number three, this is my birthday. So I can't think of a better way to match that milestone with this milestone of keeping, kicking off these episodes. And uh, also we've got Pete from WA Camping Adventures behind the camera and you're always in for a good time when Pete's around, so <laughs> looking forward to getting into it. So without me banging on too much, I'll introduce Graham and we'll get into it. Okay, so let's bring in Graham. Okay, Graham. How Thanks you going, for having me, mate? Happy oh, birthday. Good to see you, mate. You Thank too, you. Man. Thank you. You too. Awesome to have you here. Thanks, good, glad to be here. Yeah. It's been a long time coming. Sure has, mate, yep, sure, sure has. Awesome rig, the 76 here. And I first met Graham back in uh, early 2016, I think it was. So it, uh, lifestyle four-wheel drive in Morley. That's when, right, yeah. um, Had a look at the camp kitchen kit when we were doing them, and I, I think Graham knew more about them than I did. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah, really excited to um, to have you here today, and pretty special for me to kick this off with you. So, awesome. well, and it's just awesome you. to see what he's done with the 76 too. So, all right. So before we get into the um, the storage, you know, the good part, <laughs> let's just have a quick rundown of this awesome rig. So, uh, 2011 76 Land Cruiser wouldn't be able to list all the stuff that I've done but um, just a rough thing from the outside obviously full contingent of bar work ARB um, came our rear bar um, upgraded the the suspension with the GVM uh, Dobson MRR yeah. um, that was just to get that carrying capacity up a touch um, <clears throat> for when we used to car camp um, we run the James Baroud um, just quick and easy um, pretty light for a rooftop tent and because we jump around a fair bit we've got the ostrich wing um, I've had a couple of different awnings on here um, it's massive it's it? huge yeah. but um, for the type of camping that we used to do a lot of um, the fox wing with the poles was a bit of a nightmare yeah. um, this is fully self supporting to 70 so Solid, yeah. um, you know we've, we've had that up in Bremer Bay when it was blowing a gust and and it she held up real well nice yep um, Obviously, we don't we don't we don't use the the rooftop as much anymore. We we have a, a camper trailer as well that we'll, we'll okay. tow along. But um, yeah, sort of uh, used to help out when we were car camping a fair bit. Awesome, awesome, cool. And there's a drawer system in the back too, which we'll uh, check out soon. So we'll check out what Graham's got uh, up front. So we've got a dash pocket organizer here, and there's a few pouches in the console. So can you just run us through what you're using for? So dash console. We just throw odd bits in there. We've got some yeah. tissues and, and some stuff that we just grab often. I've got a little cleaner there from a screen that I use and um, that will change constantly. That's that's always changing with the stuff in there. Um, it's just handy to get a lot of the stuff that we may have... There's not much space in the 76. Yeah. Um, you know, it just takes it and makes it a bit neater. Stores it at the top. Yeah. Um, in the console, um, just a few little uh, little pockets that I've got. Um, one pretty much just houses my winch, the wireless controller for that. Cool. Um, got a slightly bigger one that keeps. Um, I've got a, a UHF in the car, but when we're getting in, in and out to spot or whatever, where I just keep all the um, the, the radios and the chargers and etc. And in, in the front, where I can charge it and on the go. Keep your handheld there, so you can just pretty much it, get yeah. out and, and it's there. Um, cool. And the other one's just um, one that I keep my hammer in when it's not on the. Um, on the front there. Cool. Um, and it stores in there quite nicely. Um, so it just makes them a bit easier to find and keep it all separate. Yeah, and I know where they are. Um, and again, the, you know, there's not much space and obviously it didn't come with the console. So yeah. prior to that, you know, there's, there's no storage for anything. So cool. it's just the simple things that we use all the time that we grab quick when we're on a, on a trip or, um, you know, whatever it may be. Um, I know where they are. Simple and organised. I think we need one to put these flies in there. Just a hundred percent. Yeah, we need a big one. <laughs> All right. Cool. cool. All right. Well, let's uh, head around to the back and see where the action is. All right. Well, this is a awesome setup for me to see. Bit of a dream. I get pretty excited when I see someone set up like this. There's a fair bit going on here, 
Um, we've got the drawers and we've got the big grab me bags as well. So just want to talk us through what's happening. Yep, so just uh, generally, like we got two of your big bags. Um, we obviously started with one, which we tried to fit everything in, and it did a pretty good job of that. We run two of your big bags, and in those bags, we uh, one bag sort of set up for camping with pots and, and all the bigger stuff. We, we keep a little butane burner in there as well in case we need it. Yeah. And in the and the other bag, the smaller bag, is literally where we can, if we bring that out, we can um, get through a whole cook sesh, clean up, um, sweep up if we need to. There's a little little pan and brush in there. Like everything else is in there. Yeah. Spare toilet roll, which would probably come in pretty handy right now. Yeah. And um, you know, just everything else is in there. Um, the stuff in the drawers is just um, you've got drawers, but you still want to keep them organised. So yeah. that's just more individual pockets in there, just to house cool. smaller stuff. Is there certain stuff in this one and certain stuff in that one, or uh, just tend, a... tend to run it in this one? We've got. Um, uh, if we're stopping, I've got a little box in there that's got coffees and teas, and if we're camping out the car, there's some salt and peppers, and, and you know, again, toilet roll and kitchen roll, um, more kitcheny sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and then the other side is more the um, hardware-y sort of stuff, knives, and, and I've got a bunch of batteries and my solar panel and, and all the cables and stuff that I need for that. So, um, only cool. that, that drawer's bigger, that's the only reason why we house it in there. It's, awesome. It takes a bit more space. So pretty much everything you need for camping is all set up in here. So. That, that's it, and within, the, within that sort of space, um, the only other thing that I do have is um, a sort of toiletry holder. Um, yeah. So we'll hang that and, and that'll house mine and the wife's. Um, and we both have one of these um, bags that, I remember when I first seen you and you said that yeah. these would keep all our clothes in it for camping and I actually yeah. think I said to you, not a chance. Um, <laughs> and then I um, was actually out camping with the Waka boys yeah. and seeing Krebar and, and using one and that's when I picked up them after that actually. So, yeah, cool. Uh, seeing it your works, pictures it works of real well. Yeah, no, it works real well. <laughs> and yeah. my wife can fit all her clothes in there for camping so ah, cool. she takes everything. Yeah. Um, so yeah, works real well. Sweet, yep. sweet. All right, well, let's um, how about let's open up the drawers and see All what's right. in there. So, this is one of the newer additions that I got from you. Um, was intended to be my tool bag, but um, until I get some tools at the moment, it's just housing my I've got a machete or a couple of machetes and, and an axe. Um, okay. It's a pretty heavy duty bag, so it stops all that stuff rolling around. Love Fred's work, yeah, yeah, it's good stuff. Um, I've got a couple of your pods. Uh, Batteries in one. Um, all my stuff at the moment is still um, batteries. It's not sort of rechargeable, so yep. I'm constantly always chasing chasing batteries. Um, the other one I've got a uh, four-hour trailer on, and and even when we put the walls on this, um, it, you can't peg it down. So I've got enough pegs in there and a mallet that um, yeah, I can just grab it, peg up the awning real quick yep. without having to to go through it. You know, I've got a roll and stuff, but this is a hell of a lot quicker. It's always easier. handy having a mallet. <laughs> it's, by, yeah, yeah, and yeah, a yeah. heavy one as well. Yeah, um, definitely. And then this this pouch here. Um, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, this has came up a treat, and with a clear top, um, yeah. I pretty much just keep all my cables and electrical stuff to to house the solar panel. Yeah. Um, you know, the regulator and and a, a few extra alligator clips if the Anderson for whatever reason okay. busts up, doesn't stops working. Um, and, and trailer plugs. Um, and that, that's worked a treat. That's been in there since I got it off you. Um, and, you know, everything goes on top of it. Cool. Um, it, it takes a beating real well and, and, you know, it still looks brand new. So, so do you um, find it easier to access the bits you need, having things in pouches and separated? Does it make it a little easier? Oh, 100%. You know, yeah. there's one thing having drawers and having that organised, but having stuff in the drawers organised is, yeah. is, you know, 10 times, a million times easier. Awesome. For sure. Cool. Um, so, yep, in this one we've got the, just our, what we sort of use for uh, camping out the car. Yeah. Um, your, your big one with a clear top has been incredible. So I found this box at um, Bunnings, which um, just happened to fit perfect and still allow us to have mm. um, you know, a couple of cups, takeaway cups for, yeah. for coffee on the road. Um, this box um, inside your bag, uh, which keeps all our smaller stuff and, and, and you know, coffees, teas, sugars, etc. organized. Um, that is having awesome. it, it, it's incredible, and having the clear top and still being able to see everything. Yeah. So even as simple as things like when we're running out of stuff, we don't 
need to trace through stuff, we can just go right, we'll grab that next when we stop at the shop. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it just works so well. Um, we have kitchen roll and, uh, and again, a couple of spare toilet rolls and uh, a couple of stubby holders there. Um, and in um, this bag, which I got out of the um, camp kitchen yeah, bag, yeah. so I don't use it in there anymore. Yeah. Um, we keep a full um, sort of clean up side for in the car at yeah. all times so oh, that's okay. always in here yeah they're the ones um, we used to have the um yep. all the kitchen keeps gear. all that but yeah, we don't sort of run that in the bag now because we you know the trailer has a dedicated wash up and now the car does yeah and the bags will move but ah, both have got okay. their own so yeah. it works out real well yeah and at the back here again just another couple of your pods um we it's just you know sun creams and sprays and and, and you know gas fluid um bags in, in some you know snap up bags or ah, whatever okay, we yeah. carry so um, they just stay in the back and, and again awesome. I know my drawers are that wide but they, they fit in real well yeah. um, and, it, and it works real good so this you can see everything the, the clear tops on your stuff work amazingly well cool. uh, it just saves you you know potentially having to lift out stuff and albeit small but you got to do that however many times when you're camping if you're out <laughs> yeah, 100 times a year it. Yeah, you know, um, it just makes things a, a real a health lot easier. Yeah, yeah cool. Definitely. I love the idea with the um, the box here. That looks awesome. So if you, you know you had someone with you, and they were going to make the cup, they just know where everything is. Oh, it's so fun. easy. Yeah. It works so well. Yeah. It's like a seven dollar box out of Bunnings. It yeah. just masked with with your clear top one. It, it yeah, it, it works real well. And you can again, you can see everything. Um, you don't need to trace and stuff. Spot on. more stuff is. Cool. All right, well, let's um, now have a look at the big guys and um, see what you're using them for. Cool. Well, um, gee, seeing this uh, brings back memories. We uh, we used to, we kicked off doing the uh, full camp kitchen kits, and that's how we originally the met. first one, yep. Yeah, first that's purchase. it. And um, we're not doing them at the moment, but um, yeah, it's cool to see it. So, can you talk us through what's in there? So, originally, when we got this off you, um, we only had the one bag. Um, and we didn't have the trailer at the time, so this was our um, fix for um, having no space and needing a one-stop shop. And there was nothing else at the time. We, yeah, you could go and buy a bag and put all the stuff in, but this um, I don't know, it had a bit more of appeal to me. It was yeah. I knew everything was in there. Cool. Um, so now it's changed slightly. Um, now that we've got the trailer and another bag, um, we sort of tweaked how it came, all the stuff's still there, but we just run it slightly differently. So um, this one's now used for, um, literally we pull this out, we know we've got plates and cups. Um, yeah. We know we've got cutlery, um, which is still in uh, in there. Cool. We've got stuff to run the barbecue with. Yeah. Uh, we've got stuff to pick up hot stuff. We've got a few smaller pots that I've added in. Oh, um, yeah. Just when we stop, if we need to grab a coffee, I want to boil some milk or whatever, whatever, the, whatever it might be. Yeah. Um, obviously a sink strainer um you know again uh, we've got a little chopping tool that the wife uses um uh, again more toilet roll um <laughs> never have enough eh? yeah can't have enough um, um yeah, yeah and then our little um knife kit that we got off here as well is a quite recent uh, thing so yeah. that just slots in there and pretty much lives in there all the time cool. um, how and, do you and find those knives there they are sharp as yeah and they're, they're brilliant yeah. um it just makes it so much easier and the small one that we've got off here as well Got a couple of the smaller uh, yeah. ones. They are incredibly sharp. The wife yeah. loves them. Um, and then in the lid, um, because originally there was a lot of stuff in there, and it did still buckle up, mm -hmm. and you could still do what you needed to do. It was just really quite tight. Um, so now that it's a little less, um, we just managed to put in some clip bags and tin foil and yeah. um, ordinary sorts. And around the front, um, some uh, wash up detergent um some oh, that's olive a cool oil. idea just put the put detergent it, put in a spray, spray bottle, bottle so. and use that oh, okay. for cleaning and you know whatever else yeah. um some spare gases blow torch um a couple of spare stubby holders and uh for whisking up the coffees and, and making a, a froth milk a little battery powered um <laughs> coffee unit. yeah cool Same. um so that's pretty much that bag awesome nice one so this was the um the new version of the grab me bag the um Mark III. So the previous one that Graham had was the Mark II, and um, this one was slightly wider, slightly taller, to accommodate the um, change in the butane cans. It had a pouch at the back. Um, it's got a nice, comfy pad on it, so yeah, it helps. makes it a bit easier to carry, yeah. and um, also has double zips on the um, 
the uh, panel in the front so yeah it's cool to see how you put this one to use so let's go through it so being bigger um i think even if yeah. we'd had this one straight off the bat if somebody was to buy it now uh, that would help a lot yeah um that minimal extra space to what i know it gives you yeah would help a lot if somebody was just going to have one bag yeah um yeah. the reason why we got another one um was because of the way that we started to run it with the trailer and the car um, and not cramming everything into one bag and it just so happened to be that you had brought this one out so yes. what we use this one for is we try to get rid of all the um, the real big bulky stuff mm -hmm. um, so we keep a single butane burner in there all the time yeah. um, and just dot around there we keep just spare gas canisters and that's just in case we got cooking facilities on the trailer yeah. uh, and normally we'll bring a, a double burner in here but this is just solely a backup okay. cool. um, and inside this one we keep our um, camp oven so oh, that's nice. the um, big 10 inch camp 10 inch it, yep. yeah spun steel camp and inside yeah. there is our pot set um, okay. uh, which we've used religiously it's yeah. just easier to have it in here now and, and you know when we generally take these out We'll set up camp, take it all out, and lay it out in spots so it's, it's out of anyway and it's yeah. successful. Cool. Um, a spare bucket, mm -hmm. um, and then our fry pans. Uh, so we got the flat one. Yeah. Um, and then this was a, another latest addition from it. Yeah, keep you. that because it's pretty heavy. <laughs> yeah. um, and then the, the bigger one that we bought off here as well. Um, and then uh, finally, cool. the little windshield for. So the single burner. That's a 310 fry pan, I think yep. it is in there, the that's big steel right. one, yep. and then that's a square hot plate there. That's so. it. Uh, uh, we haven't actually cool. used this yet, but um, yep. that one there is has been amazing. And then just the um, yeah, the nice windshield. Solid, uh, windshield yep. there, so. cool. Again, all in, in the pouches, it keeps it nice and easy, so it's not just in, chucked in a bag. It, yeah. Everything's got its own spot inside there, and yeah, yeah. it works real well. Fully kitted. 100%, mate. <laughs> oh, 100%. It's awesome, awesome. <laughs> Cool, so we've seen all of the stuff in the back. The, uh, the last thing we've got here is uh, fairly recently you've got these um, two. They're, they're a pretty uh, new product and um, yeah, they look awesome here too. So yeah, and, what and are you they, using them for? They work, mate. They, yeah. um, some unusable space or, or you know, wasted space on, on the drawer front. Um, I did think about, if, you know, strap, I've seen nice people put on there, but I sort of didn't want to mess up my drawers. So when I seen you had these, um, take up no space at all and it's using space that doesn't get used and these get used for like this will constantly change in a camp trip so yeah. right you know there'll be wipes and okay. and then the sun cream will get put in there because we're grabbing it all the time and then you know yeah. there will be a few extra batteries because we're using torches constantly so um, this 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 will evolve constantly through a camp trip but um, just having those clear fronts um, in you know the back of the car is open whenever we're at camp anyway so uh, you know we can just jump in and grab stuff you know saves us going in the drawer especially if it's something that you know we can stay out mm. and it just it lives in there the whole time and cool. it's pretty handy so you like the clear covers so you can um yeah if you're changing it up all the time you can see what you've you, dropped you can in, see so. what's in it yeah. um and you know similar to what's in the drawers as well been able to see what's in there yeah um for for us and what we use like it's it just makes it a bit easier cool awesome awesome we do have a, uh, another version coming soon which is uh, all canvas so you won't be able to see inside but it'll create a little bit more space down the bottom so just give you a bit more extra room so wow fair bit going on here graham yeah, so thank you lot. very much mate no, so thank just you, awesome to see how it's been put to use and really appreciate your time and uh yeah it's cool to see well the, the your gear for us and like you know uh we'll only ever have a wagon I, i've never really wanted a ute as much as space wise we'd come in but um, years ago when I picked up this stuff um, there was not much out there and even the stuff that's out there now doesn't come as a one-stop shop so um, anybody I, I would say anybody that's camping like this out of a car um, I mean we jump around now as well between car and trailer mm -hmm. so we literally don't have to change anything the bags come from the car to the trailer if we want to save space yeah. we, we, we pull a big German Shepherd dog so yeah. he takes up half half the back um, and having everything in the bag and the bags can stack on top of each other I, I honestly anyone that's camping out the back of a wagon um i would seriously recommend to to look at some of the, some of the stuff it, it's helped us out loads and and moving forward into um our new uh build uh, this is going to come in heaps help like massively awesome awesome sure. it's music to my ears mate and uh yeah we we're very lucky to um 
have this opportunity with Graham uh, and see the awesome 76. He's put a huge amount into the build of this. He's got a new project underway and uh, that'll be coming soon. So really keen to see what you come up with there. Well, we need your help um, probably in that as well. So. Cool, all right, happy 100%. to help mate. So thank Thanks, you. Thanks Jimmy, much appreciated right. mate. Thank you very much. Cool, thanks guys.